enjoy that while we uh, watch Irma. We've got several days still to watch this. Things becoming a little clearer, though. Let's uh, show you that uh, satellite view of this uh, ferocious monster storm. Uh, we're not adjectives to call this bad names because it is just that. A terrible storm, obviously, uh, making its way west-northwest towards Turks and Caicos. Uh, it did spare Haiti. You know, a lot of times the poor folks there take the brunt of a hurricane. It weakens it as it heads towards the U.S., but they get demolished by these storms, and it's already the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. So at least some good news that they got spared from this uh, just north of Hispaniola. Now, here's another view of the track. Again, takes it uh, right over potentially South Florida. If it does that over that major metro area of Miami, it is going to be a disaster along the east coast of Florida, too. And then potentially in sh on shore around Savannah, Hilton Head, and heading northwestward, weakening, of course, as it moves on shore, uh, but towards uh, Charlotte, potentially, by Tuesday. Computer models pretty much in agreement. They've shifted back to the west. They could easily shift back to the east. This uh, forecast not set in stone. But you see the red line? That's the Hurricane Center forecast. Most of the computer models now are west of that, which would take it further into, uh, say, Georgia or East Tennessee. The farther away it goes from us, the uh, less impact we have, obviously, but worse for areas out to the west. Now, we showed you that. Look at this computer model. This is the European, which has shown a big shift from earlier runs, which took it right over, uh, say, southeast Florida and the Atlantic waters. It takes it farther west coast of Cuba, and then that hard turn north. It's just a matter of a few miles, but it makes a huge difference. If this goes on this direction, again, South Florida is this going to suffer a tremendous blow. If it goes a little bit further to the east, of course, the Bahamas would suffer that tremendous blow, and South Florida would be spared at least the worst of the destruction. Goes northward then, and northwestward. All the models agree. That's the interesting part of a northwest turn, which isn't un unheard of, but it is a little bit unusual. We'll show you why. Here is the hurricane now, or will be over the uh, latter part of the week and weekend. Typically, we see these run up the East Coast and then off the East Coast. That's more often than not the case as the jet stream begins to shove it offshore. What's going to happen with Irma potentially is what our computer models are showing us. High pressure builds into the Great Lakes, and as it gets that way, it pushes towards the Eastern Lakes. Runs uh, Irma tries to run into that, and the uh, high says, basically, no way. You've got to go around me and heads it off towards the Northwest, uh, towards parts of, say, North Georgia or the Western Carolinas. Again, that could change if the positioning of that high changes, but that's what uh, everything is lining up for right now. Look at